Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to another video of my channel. I am Kishal. I hope you all are doing well. So, welcome back to another placement video of my channel. And I hope from the thumbnail and the title of the video, you know the topic of today's video. This is the much awaited video that you all are requesting that how the placement is happening in IIC Bangalore for this year in 2025. So, as you know, the placement in IIC Bangalore used to be starting a bit earlier, typically in the mid of October, they used to start their placement session. But this year, they started the placement session in the first week of November. So, since first week of November till kind of December 1st, when I gathered this data, how was the placement that I am going to discuss in this particular video. Now, what are information you are expecting from this particular video? First of all, I will be telling you... Uh, which of the companies has been the campus in each slot and how many students they have taken. And now, department-wise data, I don't have the whatever data I have received. There, there is no mention about the department. Only the student's email ID is mentioned there. Now, from the email ID, getting the department name and all these things, that's, that's a tedious process. I'm still trying it. But it's not possible to fetch all department name just from the stu student's email ID. I'm still trying that. So that may be in the part two of the video I'll be sharing with you. And also these companies has offered different role. So for example, Qualcomm has taken I think 17 students. So all the 17 students are not offered the same role. So there are different roles that is being offered to different students from different branches. For example, from, from EC, suppose if Qualcomm is recruiting some, someone, maybe he has offered some, some sort of VLSI role or a hardware related role. At the same time, for example, they are taking students from CSE and AI. Then they are offering some sort of software engineer or uh, data scientist role. So those details is also there. But I personally feel that because there are so many companies has visited the IIC campus this year, if I include everything in one single video, that will be lengthy. So that's why in this video, I'll be only sharing with you that in each slot, whichever companies have been the campus and how many students they have taken. In the next part, I'll try to give you the all the roles that these different companies has, has offered and also which department, how many students this company has taken, a kind of rough estimate I'll be able to give you. Now, regarding package, frankly speaking, I didn't receive the package information. I don't have the information. I'm trying to gather it, at least the average uh, CTC and base salary. And whenever I look at it, I'll be, I'll be giving you the update. And also one thing I have to mention here, the data I'll be sharing with you today uh, is basically the data of all the branches. Now, in ISC, typically there is no BTEC. Um, for BSc students, the placement is very limited. Very less number of students is being, is being placed in different companies we have seen for historically. So this data, though I, I will not show you department-wise data, but you can assume this data is mostly from uh, different engineering departments and they are MTech students like MTech in CSA, EC, uh, CDS, AI, electrical, mechanical. These students are mostly getting placed in these companies, which I will be sharing with you in this particular video. So that is the content of today's video. So if you want to know detail about it, please stay tuned this video till end and before starting the video as i always say if you are new to this channel please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button without further delay let's get starting to today's video okay so let me share with you the placement data for iic bangalore for all the branches uh, for 2025 the first slot was uh, it was started from november 3rd and it went to 7th of November, that means 5 days slot it was. And the first company that beat the campus was Qualcomm in this slot 1. And he has taken 17 students. Next, Atlassian has taken 3 students. Ixana has taken 2 students. Observe AI has taken 2 students. Capital One has taken 12 students. Texas Instrument has taken 5 students. Cerebra System has taken 4 students. NVIDIA has taken 7 students. Micron has taken one student. Uh, next, Samsung Semiconductor has taken nine students. Cisco has taken five students. Mastercard has taken two. Uh, Inmobi Group Private Limited has taken seven students. MathWorks has taken three students. Analog Device has taken five students. Uh, Meso has taken four students. And finally, Navi has taken three students. So basically, this was the slot one for the first five days starting from November 3rd till November 7th, 2025. After slot one, slot two starts from November 11th till November 14th. Now in slot two, uh, the first company was Oracle that has taken three students. Fujitsu Research has taken six students. Bajaj Auto has taken 10 students. Applied Materials has taken five students. Flipkart, Flipkart has taken two students. LAM Research has taken 4 students, IBM has taken 2 students, 
City Bank has taken seven students. Chevron has taken seven students. And G Aerospace has taken four students. Next, Netradine has taken 17 students. Delta Electronics has taken four students. Uh, Cadence Design System has taken four students. EXL Services has taken three students. Renaissance has taken five students. Bias System has taken one. Mintra has taken two. HPCL has taken one student. KPMG has taken one student. So this was about slot 2 from November 11 till November 14. Next is uh, slot 3 which started from November 17 and it went till uh, November 21st. Now in slot 3, uh, there are Exxon Mobile has taken one, two students. Rapido has taken eight students. Alstom has taken three students. Meltwater has taken five students. Uh, Novo Drishti Aerospace has taken two students. Nav Drishti Aerospace, I guess. Uh, Adverb has taken one student. Neutronics has taken one. Uh, Britannica Education has taken one. Kantar has taken one. And Astrom Technologies has taken three students. Then uh, Kutak Mahindra has taken four students. Home Space Rocket and Exploration has taken one student. Uh, Dr. Reddy's has taken two students. Airtel has taken three students. Walmart has taken six students. HP has taken three students. Sandix has taken one student. So this was about slot 3 from November 17 till November 21st. And since then from November 21st, the rolling slots have started. That means sequentially companies will come and you will just appear for, for the companies. And in this round, there was Ola who has taken 8 students. Reliance New Energy has taken 6 students. Accenture has taken 1 student. LNT Finance has taken 2 students. And Hubble's has taken 1 student. And this is the summary of the whole placement. In slot 1, there was 91 students who got placed. In slot 2, there were 88 students who got placed. In slot 3, there are 47 students. And the rolling slot, till now, 17 students got placed. From different departments, as I have already mentioned, these are different departments, data I am sharing with you. And most of these students are actually from uh, MTech students from different engineering branches like CSA, CDS, AI, Electrical, Electronics. These departments, MTech, Typically, people used to get a uh, place from IIC and this data, majority of the students will be from this department doing their MTEC. So, this is all about uh, the data for slot 1, slot 2, slot 3 and rolling slots for IIC Bangalore. Now, what are the takeaways that I can draw from this particular uh, data that I have just shared with you? First of all, frankly speaking, compared to last year, placement in ISC is really really good I mean last year our complaint was that not the big companies are visiting the campus a very less placement is happening per department uh, very less number of students are getting recruited but this year you can see uh, first of all the, the the number of students getting placed in each slot is quite good as I say slot 1 is 91 students slot 2 is 88 students Slot 3 is 47 and slot running rolling slot, there are 17 students. That means quite a huge number of students are getting placed in each slot. And as you can see, per slot is like 3-4 days. So if you are getting in the first slot in 3-4 days, you are getting 91 students getting placed from the whole uh, batch of students. And remember, in ISC, there is no BTEC. This information is for only UBTEC students. So that's why this is a huge success this year that ISC is getting. And also, you know, big names are coming back like Qualcomm is there, Texas Instrument is there, NVIDIA I have seen, Flipkart I have seen, MasterCard, then uh, Samsung was there. Obviously, you can say Google, Microsoft is not there. I understand that's not there. Google typically don't visit ISC campus. Historically, also we have seen Google, uh, you know, doesn't visit ISC campus uh, very much. Uh, but yeah, other than that, Oracle, Fujitsu Research. Uh, Ola, Mintra, all the big names, I mean, all the big names that you can expect. And even compare with other other IIT's data, also IIT Bombay or IIT Kharagpur, whatever I've said. These are the companies, these are other campuses also, these big names. And I feel name-wise, the big name-wise, most of the big names has been to the campus and that's a great, great news. So yeah, I, I what I have seen at, at least uh, from the company names perspective and the number of students they are recruiting per slot, it's a great news that IIC finally has come off after the blend that they have done in the last year. So yeah, that's kind of the the conclusion and the takeaways I am getting from this particular uh, particular placement data. Obviously, more details will be coming up. As I said, that I'll be sharing with you the roles that these companies have offered from per department, how many students they have taken. That's a bit tricky job, but I'll try to do that. 
and obviously finally you know when the package details like average ctc high ctc i'll be able to gather i'll be sharing with you so yeah that's it about the video now uh, so i hope this video will be a kind of a motivational boost for all the students who is preparing for gate 2026 uh so if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with other people and also you if you have any question okay let me know in the comment section i'll try to answer it more such videos placement statistics video will be coming up uh next like i think iit kanpur data i'll be getting next so that video will be coming up so stay tuned and if you haven't subscribed the channel please subscribe it and hit the bell icon so that you get all the notifications regularly that's it about the video i'll meet you in the next video until then bye